Okay, so the first piece we're going to rebuild is the torque converter clutch module, which is this little guy. Um, there's only two springs and two valves that go into it, um, and there's a couple, and a, an end plate that goes on top of it. So when we install these valves, we're not supposed to install them dry. We're supposed to put, we're supposed to put ATF in the, uh, oh, I guess that's a brand new cord. I thought that was a cord I already had opened. So my son is um, filming for me today. So you may hear me talk to him. I don't think people are super excited and need a demo video on how to open a can of ATF, but I do appreciate the active camera work. Hopefully we're gonna inspire my kids into how to work on cars. So I've already blown this uh, cup out with a compressed air so it's clean. So we're gonna put a little ATF in this cup. Not very much. And this is gonna make a mess. I wish I had one of those fancy tables that you see guys work on. It's all steel, it's got the lip and they just spill ATF all over everything and they don't care. Um, I don't have that so I can't do that. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some ATF in a syringe. There's probably other ways to do this. Shoot, you could probably just drop this whole thing in ATF. Um, I mean, it's gonna get all coated in ATF before it's all said and done anyway. So I'm just gonna put my finger on the back side of this. I'm gonna squirt a little bit in there, make a mess. Squirt a little bit in here too. Turns out you do have one of those tables. <laughs> Turns out I do have one of those tables. Um, I got ATF on my phone. That's fantastic. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it is what it is. What are you going to do? It's okay. already red. Yep. All right. So we got ATF there. So we have four valves. I'm sorry, two valves and two springs. They're slightly different sizes. But the good news is they only go one way. So the first one is the torque converter clutch valve. And I'm going to put a little ATF on my finger here and just lube this big one up. The big one, I think, is the torque converter clutch valve. So it goes in, let's see, does this fit? It goes in like this. And you just drop it in there, piece of cake. And then We're going to get the other valve right here. Put a little ATF my finger. And this one goes spring first. Now you put the little spring on the little valve. So you just drop it in like this. Spring. I'm double checking against my work here. These valves really only fit one way, so there's, um, and I'll actually, at this point, let me just demonstrate that they really only fit one way. So if I wanted to put this valve in here, it won't go, right? So even if I put the small one in here, it would not have worked. So once again, the, it's the converter clutch valve with the big spring around it, and then put the little spring in the other hole, and the fail-safe valve goes in a little end first. All right. So, we have that. And then there's the end plate. The end plate goes on like this, and it can actually fit either way. This one takes two screws that are two of the screws that are slightly different size from all the rest of the screws in the transmission the valve body, I should say. So what you do is you take this end plate and you really just mash down, mash those springs and valves in, and then feed the screw into that hole. Really don't want to force these screws into these holes because I promise you do not want to cross thread one of these things. We'll 
Once again, these are 225s. There we go. That screw shouldn't fight you at all. If it does, back it out and start over. There's a torque spec on this that I think is 70 inch pounds, but I haven't looked it up yet. So I'm not going to torque these down just yet. I'm going to save that for a later date. So then I'm going to put that con contraption now that it's built over in my staging area. I'm going to clean up my staging area before the next video. And we're going to go ahead and tackle the next section of the valve body.